Today we're going to do the rain recipe and it can be found on our website. Our websites are listed here, cwec.ca under educators or um, the Children's Groundwater Festival, which is www.cgf.com. Under the educator section, there's a link to the CWEC site that has all of um, the information that you need to be able to do this in your own home. So today we're doing the rain recipe. Um, there's an overview of the activity. Um, there's teacher's notes that run, walk you through the activities and give you all the background information that you need to be able to do this um, simple science experiment. So the rain recipe, we're gonna be talking about the water cycle. And here's um, an image that I downloaded from the internet. There's lots of images of water cycles on there, so you might want to print one off. If you don't want to print one off, um, you could have the, as part of it, as part of this activity is having this, your child actually draw using some pencil crayons or crayons, drawing um, the water cycle. So all the different components that it has within it, um, we want to make sure that we put the groundwater on it because in our region and in the county of Wellington and city of Guelph, um, we rely on groundwater as our drinking water source. There's surface water, so um, having your child understand what surface water means. So the local creeks, stream, rivers, lakes um, that they might know in your area. Um, we want to talk about evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and infiltration. So have infilts drown into the ground. So for our experiment today, we are going to be making it rain. The things that you need in order to do this activity are a kettle and remember um, if you need a parent or an adult to be with you because the kettle gets quite hot. At what temperature does water boil in order to turn into our vapor or our gas? 100 degrees Celsius. On the hottest of summer days it might reach 30 or above um, so 100 is so much hotter. So for our simple science experiment we have our kettle which we're going to turn on and this is going to represent our evaporation. So we're speeding up the process with the kettle. Um, the sun um, will heat up and create the same thing over time. We have our baking sheet filled with our ice cubes. It is representing our clouds that are high in the sky that gets really cold, that um, we're going to have our condensation. And then we're going to make it rain, which is our precipitation. I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can have a closer look at this process as it happens. I have a close up look of the kettle. The steam that's being formed, hopefully you can see that. Our water is boiling and underneath our baking sheet, there are drops of moisture, our precipitation. So our ice up top, our kettle with our hot water boiling to create our steam, our vapor, our gas is turning our baking sheet into a cloud with the ice in it that's very cold. So we have very cold and very hot. When the two to come together, we're creating precipitation. Pretty cool, isn't it? 